researchers from the Japanese Osaka University have developed a new silk fiber-based bioink for fabricating cell-laden structures with improved printability. To obtain the fibers, the researchers started with virgin silk, then removed the protein sericin from it because this protein causes inflammation in patients. Next, the researchers ground the remaining biocompatible material into nanofibers. The fibers can be sterilized, without damaging them, for medical use, with common laboratory equipment. The fibers fulfill this purpose by enhancing the integrity of the bioink and minimizing the damaging high mechanical stresses often placed on cells during printing. The fibers were found to actively minimize the internal stresses placed on cells during three-dimensional bioprinting, which improved their survivability and allowed them to retain complex shapes. The nanofibers could be sterilized by autoclaving, and addition of the nanofibers improved the shear thinning of polymeric aqueous solutions, independent of electric charge and the content of cross-linkable moieties in the polymers. The addition of nanofibers to bioinks resulted in the fabrication of hydrogel constructs with higher fidelity to blueprints. Leveraging their novel bioprinting material, the team 3D printed a range of cell-based objects including a nose-shaped structure, while keeping more than 85% of its component cells alive. Given that their bioink is based on human-compatible silk, the researchers believe that in the future, it could be utilized within real-world biomedical applications. Silk fibers are excellent additives to bioink cell printing media. They are compatible with many media, such as those containing gelatin, chitosan, or hyaluronic acid, giving them a broad range of potential applications. Utilizing their novel bioink the researchers were able to 3D print complex structures, including a nose-shaped object. In recent years, 3D bioprinting has attracted a great deal of attention as a means of fabricating cell-laden structures that mimic functional organs and tissues. While these new approaches have shown vast therapeutic potential and yielded various miniature 3D printed body parts, the technology remains years away from end-use application. Scientists from the University of Texas at El Paso for instance, 3D printed mini hearts in January 2020 and sent them to the International Space Station for testing. Elsewhere, a team at the University of Minnesota has bioprinted a miniature beating human heart, while United Therapeutics has refurbished a factory as it intends to 3D print kidneys on a larger scale. Many of these mini organs are created by extruding a cell-laden bioink, in a layer-by-layer -layer approach via a micro-nozzle attached to a 3D printer. Using an extrusion-based method allows for the creation of complex structures, with materials that can be customized to control cell proliferation and differentiation, but they also have drawbacks. The problem with extruding bioinks is that their printability is often improved by increasing their viscosity, but this causes sheer stress during printing, which in turn, damages the ink's cells. In order to combat this, some researchers have used nanomaterials such as cellulose nanofibers as supporting additives, which have been proven to make bioinks more resilient to printing. At present though, many additives supported bioinks need to be customized for each application, which makes them difficult to roll out on a wider basis. As an alternative, the Osaka team hypothesized that silk fiber and nanofibers could be used as an additive to produce a bioink that enhances cell viability, without limiting its compatibility.